Well, the Oilers, they're playing very, very well, and there are a couple MVPs on that team. I think you can look in net to Count Talbot, but you can also look at the uh, presence and the way he puts pressure on people, Mr. Connor McDavid. He's had a fantastic season. He's leading the whole league in points, and Saturday night, he had a great game. Now, it maybe wasn't his most game for, or best game for points, but he did have a goal and assist. Let's take a look at his goal and look how he makes NHL defensemen look like they're standing still. Here we are. We're in the first period. Early in the game, Connor McDavid gets the puck. Blows by one, blows by two defensemen. See you later. I'm going to talk to this net. I'll be back in a minute. Adam Larson does a great job standing up. Puck goes off his shin. McDavid attacks right away. Boom. See you to that D-man. The inside D-man has the angle, and he's still cannot get there. This is ridiculous amount of speed. This is why Conor McDavid is so good. Look, he blows by with that and he comes over. The second D-man cannot get there. Jansen cannot get there to cut off the angle. This is freakish speed. I, I, I don't even know what to tell you. I've never seen a player like this get a guy with his angle right get it wrong so much. One more time. Conor McDavid gets the puck at his own blue line. He turns a one-on-two into a breakaway. <laughs> That doesn't happen, people. That simply doesn't happen. So there he is scoring a goal. He does a lot of other things pretty well. He's got to work on his draws. We know there's some other areas, but he's a very good player. But what makes Connor McDavid so good is he realizes and understands there's times to jump in the play and force the issue, and with his speed, he can make what is a non-dangerous situation into a very dangerous, dangerous, dangerous situation. Check out this play. Now, this is a, a very good goal here. This is uh, late in the third. Orders need to go. Connor McDavid is right there at the blue line, and he jumps up. Leon Dreis gets the puck, passes back to McDavid, off the post. Leon gets it and taps it into a moon. Pretty easy goal. Now, the passing play isn't what it's all about. This is it right here. Well, look at, he's now about four feet behind the Red Wings player. Let's get it going again. He catches up, passes him, and now he's four feet in front of the Red Wings player. Who does that? Within 60 feet, he makes up eight feet of ground on an NHL player. Now, that's not a tractor. That's not a cow. It is ridiculous. Watch it again in full speed. Connor's well behind him. Oh, excuse me. I'm just going to go up here and pass. He passes up and turns a two-on-one into a three-on-one, which ends up into a very good scoring chance. That is why Connor McDavid's so good. Yeah, you can talk about the dazzling moves, the dazzling uh, intellect. It's that speed, turning that on, that makes it so hard to play against them. That is absolutely amazing. Man, we're lucky to watch this guy play here in Edmonton.